Okay, so this is a PSA. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to do this, but I'm gonna try to do it in under three minutes. As everyone probably knows, we're struggling financially at the moment um, as I'm trying to get on disability and just generally surviving is incredibly expensive. But anyway, when I received an email a couple of days ago, the email was a job offer, uh, supposedly. It said it came from Aspire Media, which is the video game studio behind Star Wars The Old Republic and uh, a few other games like that. So this is the actual email. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Looks like a great idea, and it's definitely something I could do. As it goes on, it looks even better. So I'm really excited, and I'm thinking, okay, I'll reach out. So I downloaded ICQ, which I hadn't previously had, and um, I messaged the person it said to message. So here's where we started. Looks like a perfectly normal conversation so far, right? I'm giving each slide 10 seconds for you guys. And this is real and legitimate. Eh, first red flag. The misspelling is also a red flag. And he didn't catch the fact that I was talking about things he'd already done. So I'm already thinking, okay, this is probably a scam. I'm not giving him my current address. But I'm gonna answer honestly. Now it's starting to sound a little bit more like an actual interview. So I'm thinking maybe my first impression was wrong. I'm verbose. Really verbose. So far it's going well and I'm answering on my own time. So this is where we started this morning, I believe. I started to think maybe he was an English as a second language speaker and not actually a scammer because of these types of triggers. The interview continues. It's going fairly well, even if he is asking questions in block text. So of course I answer in kind, because, as I may have mentioned before, well I know I did, I'm verbose. Sounds great, lackluster response, and I already sent you my portfolio before, but okay? Uh, what the text says, I was getting suspicious again. This is always a good thing to focus on. If it sounds too good to be true, it's probably fake. Yeah. We're getting really dangerous now. And here we start with the do you understand? This is a classic trick of scammers. Uh, count them with me. One. This entire paragraph is a hell of a red flag. I'll explain why at the end. Two. Do you understand? And three. In the same conversation. And not gonna give- And they won't give me the- Not gonna give me the name of their quote accredited vendor unquote. Yeah, this is going downhill fast. This is just me asking if they were depositing it in my bank, why does it matter which bank I use? Yeah, we use Chase. Everyone in the world knows that. And why would you ask it? And here we go, this is the end. 
Check copy. That's your danger flag. Print out the check. Sign the back. Take a pic of the front and back and upload it to the app. No. This is what's known as a money mule scam. Basically what it is, is they send you a photocopy of a check, which again, red flag, um, either email or through regular mail. You're then to deposit that check copy. But here's the thing, that's illegal. It's illegal because they just digitally change the name that the check is made out to on their end and send it to multiple people. The banks catch on to this, but by then, you've purchased from their accredited vendor the um, supplies they want you to have, right? Except that those supplies will never come, and that money just went right back to them. When the banks catch on, you're the one who ends up overdrawn. And that is why the do you understand is a red flag because they're looking to get you into a verbal agreement with them. You'll feel bad for going back on it if you're like most people. So you would go ahead and deposit the check and do what they tell you and end up thousands of dollars overdrawn. So that's a warning. If you get any emails like this for jobs like this, yeah, definitely try in good faith, but be aware of the signs stay safe out there.